uh, we had all kinds of plans. We were going to have high tea at the Oriental. Uh, before we got married, we did that a lot. We used to go and have high tea. Uh, it was so amazing, you know, because at that time, Thailand, everything was so affordable. You could live like a king, and we literally did. Every night after school, we went to the Paragon, ate in our favorite restaurant. Even though it took about a three quarters of an hour to a half an hour to get home. So anyhow, I want to tell you, dear, that I love you more than anything else in the world. Uh, you have settled out my heart, and I finally, true, found somebody I can call my heart. Um, I really, uh, this is, I don't know how interesting a story it is, but when I came to Thailand, I must have dated about six million girls from every level of society, from the poorest to the richest, to having their own beautiful house and their own car. I went out with very high class people and everything, and people who were very educated. But I want to tell you that I was never, never truly felt in love or um, that I would probably, uh, I had found the person I was looking for. You have no idea how much punishment I have been through. The people who are close to me know that what my marriage history is like in America. And believe me, I've been married more than Mickey Rooney, and I'll let you look that up. Uh, for the people who don't know, I have two beautiful daughters, uh, all grown up. And uh, I came here, and I sort of knew that somebody was going to be my life's mate, my soul mate. And uh, it didn't happen. It didn't happen at all. Um, I went out with six million girls. <laughs> I really suffered. And uh, you know, when you're looking for love, it's never going to happen to you. But if you ever need any marriage counseling, please come to me because uh, those, this loneliness that evades everybody's uh, circulatory system, it's, an, it's inbuilt into human beings. And we're all looking for love and looking for our mate. And I want to tell you, when you least expect it, it's going to happen to you. It's going to surprise you, and you're going to know it when it happens. So if I had uh, one of my girls sitting with me today and ask me about that, about loneliness, and uh, how are they ever going to find the one, the one that is the one, um, it will happen to you, and it is uh, more to do with mysticism and magic than anything else. So you can do all you want. You can be very busy dating and running around and playing around, and that's what a lot of guys do when they come here. But I found the, the um, I kind of think that she was handed down to me by God. I know that sounds, you know, like it's fictitious or fiction, but it's not fiction at all. I had paid my dues, believe me, heavily in America. People who know me know what's happened to me, but I can never tell you that I did find, uh, and it wasn't when I first came here, and it, 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 it was uh, several, several years ago. We've been married 27 years, and these have been without a doubt the best years of my life i have been it's so natural i've been so uh, peaceful and uh, i i've I, there is no one in the world that can match me and i've been matched finally thank you my dear lord thank you for helping me and uh, she's been a blessing every day and she's not only the, um, the, the biggest part of my prayers, but also it's a tremendous thank, a thank you and a thankfulness for her because I truly understand her. And you know, she always says something to me. She said, I wanna be good. And I think she means behaved 
as a human being to God, to pay attention to him and to follow his laws and commandments. Well, she's turned me very much from a Jewish guy into a Jewish Buddhist. So um, I can never forget my Judaism uh, because, uh, well, I just remember my mother teaching me about it. She took me aside and taught me about uh, Hanukkah and uh, Yom Kippur and Purim and all the Jewish holidays. And, uh, but I have to tell my mother, I know, you know, of all the girls that I brought home, and I know I brought a lot of them home to you and told you that I was in love with them. But compared to the way I am now and feel now, I have never actually been in love the way I am in love today. And that's after us living uh, 27 years together. Today is our anniversary, and my dear love, I just want to, you're going to outlive me for sure, but I'm, I'm going to give you everything I, I have that I can possibly give you, and I think I'm even going to stay around a little bit. She told me, don't be a ghost, so I'm not going to be a ghost, uh, but I will be her angel, and I will always be with her and watching her and taking care of her. And um, uh, I uh, actually, the only reason I want to live a long, long time is to be with her in, in the future uh, for as long as I possibly can. So uh, if any of you out there are as happy as me, you finally found it. And if you ask me, when is it going to happen, and some of you are uh, hungry and lonely and, and desperately looking for it to happen to you, but you cannot make it happen. It's one of those things that appears uh, as being a permanent part of your life before you even know it. And life without her, to me, is unimaginable. So I'm a very lucky guy. And I'm also lucky that she's beautiful, a beautiful person. <clears throat> she's artistic, and she's smart beyond her years. And uh, she's always worried about education. And I told her, you're beyond education. Uh, most of the people that I know, and this is some, something I truly feel, the more educated are, the more tru truly manipulative and selfish they are, and protective of their own souls, you know, and uh, not at all benevolent, you know. But I have uh, an angel who's benevolent and loving and forgiving and, and has stayed with me this long. I, I, uh, I probably am not the easiest person to live with. <laughs> I think I think all those people walking around America that were once married to me know that. Anyhow, I've, I have the peace that I've been looking. I had to come to uh, 18,000 miles away through the sky and through the space to this point in time to find the angel that, uh, that I was given, and I was told to take good care of her. And I, I'm a, sen a sentry, a uh, sentinel for her, I'm her guard, and I love her, and I'm blessed. So if any of you have an anniversary and you feel like I do, you're very lucky. We were gonna go out and have high tea at the Oriental. They were booked up. And we then we decided on the veranda, which is right on the river. Nice romantic dinner. And we said to hell with it. Let's just go to our little bedroom at the cafe and uh, order the food in and spend our time together like we always do.